it's final mix time. So basically, I'm just I would keep doing exactly what I'm doing and I would listen down to the song and decide what needs to be changed, what doesn't need to be changed. So, I would just start listening uh and I did notice when this op- octave part comes in, it's a little bit loud and I wanted to show you another way. So we learned in the previous video about using clip gain to bring things up and down, but I wanted to show you um automation the one that I use the most, um, which it, it's just kind of fun to feel the song. It's called Auto Touch. So we're going to take this octave part right here, and we're going to put it in Auto Touch. And you want to have it in the position that is... So if I wanted this to be low, before I put it in Auto Touch, I would set it here, and then I would say Auto Touch. Because when I touch it, and when I change the reverb, it's going to go back where it started from. So before you put something in auto-touch, make sure it's where you want it to go back to. I'm going to undo that, Command-Z, and I'm going to go to the edit screen. So I'm going to put my mouse right before this octave part. I'm going to put a little bit before, and I'm going to play this part, and I'm going to automate the vocal. I'm going to ride the fader while it's playing. Ground control to major tone. Do it again. Ground control to major tone. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control. So, auto touch is really great. Sometimes you just want to ride a fader. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll just use clip gain. Sometimes I'll use both and I'll have something automated, but I'll want the actual region to be brought up. So, let's just pretend that we have a finished final mix. What I would do is, I'm going to double click on the zoomer to show the whole song, and we decided that the ending, when everything bled, and so we have the, we're looking at these numbers right up here. So really by bar 45 is when the, um, uh, the song ends. So we can highlight this, this whole song. I'm going to start where the fade is, about right there. And you see I've got this whole thing highlighted. I'm going to command bracket so you can see the whole thing. And now I'm going to hit Option, and I'm going to click on the track height, and I'm going to say Small. So now we've got our whole song right in front of us. We've got our crash, um, and I'm going to bring my reverb down just a teeny tiny bit. Oh, and we've got our master fader. So now we're ready. What do we do to get this thing from here, from Pro Tools, into your car, probably onto your phone. You go, you want to do what's called bounce to disk. And you're going to bounce, you're gonna to go to under the file menu and say bounce to disk. And now this window comes up, what do you wanna to bounce to? Well, for now, we're just gonna do an MP3 file. So I'm gonna go MP3, and I want it to be a interleaved, that means one file, not left and right separated, means a, a stereo file that's all interleaved into interwoven into one uh, file. We do want 44.1 and let's say we do want to add this to the iTunes library and automatically you don't want to mess with this most of the time. If you can see it's in our Pro Tools tutorial folder inside of the Major Tom folder is every session when you create it creates its own folder of audio files and fade files and there's also a folder that's made called bounced files which is really handy because usually you're going to be bouncing different versions so that leads me to the second one major tom v1 and uh, you oh, you want to mix uh, when you mix you definitely want to label your mixes because Sometimes it's V5 in the car, and sometimes I'll have them in the same playlist on my car, and I'll listen to the differences between one with the vocal a little higher, V4, and one with the vocal. So you can change. I could, uh, you know, ch duplicate the playlist and then change the chip, the clip gain to have one mix be with the vocals a little hotter and compare them in the car. And then I would just bounce, bounce each s song from the beginning to end using choosing whatever playlist I need to play in that version, if that makes any sense. We're going to do this more and more, so don't get confused. So you'll notice down here in the bottom left corner, this is important, offline bouncing. And what that means is, if it's on, if it's not offline, you're going to be listening to it while it bounces down. And um, offline means, let's just go ahead and do it. 
it's going to automatically bounce. Now here comes this uh, window with what do you want the bit rate to be? Um, that basically means what, how high do you want your resolution uh, for your MP3 file? You know, you can go uh, high, the larger the bit rate, the larger the file, the, but also the better it's going to sound. Usually, just for demo stuff, I, I'm just I usually do uh, 192, sometimes 256. Let's just do 192 for now. You definitely want to create and put this stuff in there because this is what's going to be able to let you find this stuff when you get to iTunes. Because if you don't, you've got the song title, yes, but there's already, you know, maybe something else called Major Tom. But you want to put yourself or as the artist or put, you know, um, um, I just put um, Gina's. Uh, uh, I'm just going to put the Pro Tools Girl, so that'll make it easy to find this. And then the album, I'm going to just call. I, I'm going to give it an album, so it gives it for. It, so it allows me to find this MP3 file easier. You'll see. I'm going to call this Pro Tools Tutorials is the name of the album. Okay. I don't. If I wanted to give it a genre, I can't spell tutorials, or did I? Okay, so you can give it a genre if you want. But this is pretty much what you want. You definitely want to give your put the artist, and you probably you don't have to give an artist name, the, the um, album name. The most important thing is the song title and the artist. So you can find this uh, a lot easier in iTunes. And then you hit OK, and now this is going in to iTunes. So now. If I open up iTunes, my iTunes is going to be, oh, it opened, it's going to open iTunes for me. And it's going to probably start playing. Here we go. Come on, feel the love. Okay, where is my iTunes? There it is. Oh, it needs my password. I'm going to say cancel. Uh, don't laugh at my freaking playlist in here, all right? I don't know what, this is an old, old computer, all right? Don't give me any shit. So I'm going to make a new playlist, and I'm going to call it um, Pro Tools Tutorial Songs. So basically, I mean, I, I'm making a playlist. Hopefully you guys know, understand what a playlist is. It's just a collection of songs. And now over here, under my playlist, I've got a playlist called Pro Tools Tutorial Songs, okay? So now I'm going to find Major Tom. I'm going to type in Major Tom, and there it is right there. And I'm going to double-click on it to play it. And it's playing down here. There it is. Here it comes. Okay, so now... It's there, and it's right now you'll notice that the cloud is gray. It takes a minute for the song to get onto the iCloud. Hopefully guys are, you guys are using the iCloud. Um, and then all you want to do is once it's it's uploaded, you want to drag it to, there's, where's my playlist, Pro Tools Tutorial Songs, and boom. Now if I go to Pro Tools Tutorial Songs, it's the first one. So I do this all the time with different projects I'm working on. So I make a playlist, I put the song in it, and then on my phone, hopefully I'm syncing my iTunes with my phone, and if anybody needs help with that, let me know. And then I, in my car, I go to iTunes, I find the playlist, and, and I click on the little cloud to download it right there. Um, and so it's on my phone, now I can listen to it in my car. So let's just review real quick. We highlighted from beginning to end the song. We made sure we had enough time where the instruments gave it enough bleed to the end so we heard the instruments fade out. I highlighted that and I hit, I went to bounce. It's command option B, command option B. And we chose an MP3 file. And uh, this right here basically is just saying, what output do you want this to come out of? Don't even, it's 99% of the time correct, so don't even worry about that. Um, we chose an MP3 file. We want it to be interleaved. And we said, I add it to iTunes library. If we changed anything and, and changed this mix, I'd go Major Tom V2. And again, so the difference between offline and online is offline does it without you listening. Online, without offline checked, like here's what would happen. This would come back up again. I've got the new title, V2, so I know the difference. And you can even say V2 louder vox or something you know you want to when you're listening to mixes don't just name stuff generic stuff name it what it is 
and then when you're done, you can name it Major Tom Final. But while you're mixing, it's so important to print these reference mixes, put them in iTunes, bring them in the car, bring them places where you can reference the mixes and figure out what sounds good, what doesn't. Again, it's all subjective. You do not need a mixing engineer. You can do this all yourself. Just trust your ears. You know what sounds good. Tweak the knobs until they sound good, and then bounce them to disc. Make sure you put them into iTunes. And just listen to them in the car, and you've got your final mixes with you. Um, it's that easy. So, but anyway, this is an offline. This is an online mix. This is without offline checked. We're going to hear the song playing, and I like off, I like offline not checked because I like to hear the song while it's bouncing because then I hear sometimes I'll hear an error. So let's say I don't like the fade in on the intro. How do I stop the fade? It's to cancel the bounce. I believe it comes up and shows you, but it's command period. So watch. There it is. It says right there, type command period to escape or to cancel. So if I'm listening and I decide, you know, when the vocal comes in, maybe it's going to be too hot or something. Here it comes. Ground control to major tom. <laughs> but it just cracks me up. Okay, so command period. Bam. Stops the, the bouncing. That is a bounce to disc using online bouncing as opposed to offline, which just bounces uh, quicker. You don't have to hear it. And then boom, it goes into iTunes. This will also go into iTunes, but you'll hear it in real time as it bounces. And there we go. And that's how you get a final mix from Pro Tools into iTunes, into your car. Hopefully that was helpful. And now we can move on to something else. So um, please, any questions, any comments, anything I didn't explain well, just uh, please post a comment and I'll be happy to post a video. Okay? Hope this was fun. I'll be happy not to hear this song for a while.